On Draw Stuff Really Easy today, I'm going to show you how to draw a sofa bed, but let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. Now, a sofa is basically a box. So we're going to draw kind of the front of the box like this. So it's, it's a long, thin parallelogram, and then it's going to go backwards towards the wall like that. And so we kind of have everything needs to keep parallel. That's the tricky bit. So if we then have a line coming up there and a line coming up there, then we can kind of draw the arms of the sofa like that. Draw those back there parallel. That will go parallel as well. Now we're going to need to have the back of the um, sofa like that. Maybe a bit further over. That will sort of come down about there. So that gives us the basic sofa. Let's put some feet on there as well, like that. So that then this is going to be the ground line coming out at that angle there. And the bed itself is then going to come out at this angle. So this wants to all keep nice and parallel. Again, the bottom of the bed is going to be parallel like that. And then it's going to be like a very thin box, which is what the mattress is there. Now we're going to have um, the we can have this sort of bottom bed rest thing, the thing that it rests on like that. So that wants to be there. That sort of feeling, and that should be more like that because we're wanting to keep parallel, aren't we? So that will be coming like that. This one will come down there. So we've got sort of two of these things coming down like that. Oh, and we might want to put some pillows on there as well. So let's do something like that there. And now we can ink this in. So I'm going to start round about here and we'll draw back there on the armrest part. And we can so if we draw down there, then we've got this kind of stitching that sort of comes in the middle like that. We might even have a little button there. And let's bring that around there, and then that will go up to that point there. So you have to think about everything that's going to be on top. And I think we might even do the pillows next. So they can go something like that. A slightly sort of curvy kind of... <laughs> oblong shapes, rectangles, curvy rectangles, if there is such a thing. And then we'll come along like that. And I think we'll have sort of a double cushion split down the middle there like that, at the back. And that's your cushion at the back. Now we can draw the mattress coming out. This can be slightly wobbly, <laughs> uh, coming around like that, and then because they always are a little bit wrinkled when they come out, aren't they? And it might even be a little bit wrinkled across the <laughs> the middle of the bed like that. And then you can do the rest of that arm going around like that, just the same as here. We're going to want these um, legs, these sort of fold up legs. And they're going to come around there. And then this will come here and it's because it's behind that will stop there and then it will carry on on the other side like that and then we can draw the bottom of the sofa like that now this usually has a great big kind of hole <laughs> in here where it all folds up and disappears into we're not going to see that leg there but we're going to see a little well a little foot rather like that. Now when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry then <laughs> you can erase those pencil lines and if you haven't pressed too hard then they will all go away. If you press too hard with pencil lines the graphite gets ground into the paper and it gets really difficult to <laughs> erase it later. Now you're going to want a bit of sort of shadow underneath there and underneath there and a bit there too and a bit there too and I think we'll have some shadow on the front of the sofa there which is kind of cast by the um, mattress over the top and we can have a bit of 
um, just a little bit of um, shadow on the side there just to sort of show that that's a sort of different we want a bit of shadow here too maybe if you can sort of curve it around that tiny little bit that will help to add some kind of curve to the whole thing similarly we can do that here if we can make that just curve that a little bit but not sort of too obviously <laughs> and then a um, bit of shadow down here too we can make this actually these lines get a bit longer each time as it gets towards the back and then we'll probably want some shadow along there as well too um, let's have a bit of shadow on these pillows along the bottom there like that and they will then be casting shadows there as well uh, this is assuming that the light is coming from sort of the top left We'll have a bit of shadow in there too. We'll have a bit of shadow on these little feet there. A bit of shadow to sort of put it all on the ground as well. And I think we'll probably have a bit of shadow hiding underneath the sofa there like that as well. So we can make that a bit darker as well. And I think that is probably the place to stop. <laughs> there you go, how to draw a sofa bed real easy thanks for watching and make sure you are subscribed to draw stuff real easy and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week in the meantime keep drawing 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 practice 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 and i'll see you next time you take care now bye bye